This Chinese car company was headed for bankruptcy. They knew it. They were on the very brink of bankruptcy. And they tried to use the very dodgy and I believe should be a legal strategy of doing a reverse merger to create a new US stock listing where they could have potentially raised billions of dollars from gullible, naive investors. Many of them would have come from the United States. And then these investors would have just lost billions of dollars. Fortunately, the company went bankrupt before that reverse merger could occur. All the way back in 2021, WM Motor, one of the most well-known electric car companies in China, sold 5,000 or more electric cars for six consecutive months. It was on track to be one of the biggest, most successful EV manufacturers in China. It's now declared for bankruptcy after trying to raise funds through a backdoor IPO and a listing on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. If that had been allowed to go ahead, investors would have likely lost billions of dollars. Well, now it's bankrupt and here is what happened. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. As many of you know, there is nearly a hundred different electric car companies in China. That's along with all the existing legacy automakers who are all suffering enormous pain in the Chinese car market. Many of them have tens of thousands of vehicles sitting in fields, literally gathering dust. Will they eventually sell them? Probably, but at massively reduced prices. So what exactly is going on in China? Well, first of all, last year, Jeep declared bankruptcy in the country. Now, other car manufacturers have done the same. This was just one of them. Mitsubishi recently just left the country completely. Nissan, once the largest automaker in China, is now suffering sales declines of 60%. The Japanese automotive industry, similar numbers. They've lost around 30% on average of their sales in China this year. Everyone is struggling. Well, everyone except for companies like Aon, who primarily focus on EVs, BYD, and of course, Tesla. Now, here's what's so very concerning about what's happened. In September of 2023, in fact, only three weeks ago, on the 22nd of September, WM Motors revealed a new US listing plan. It planned to do what Lucid did, what many automakers such as Nikola did, by having a, a SPAC or kind of a reverse merger where they would be able to list on the US stock exchange without having to provide their financial information. This is insane that the SEC allows this ha to happen. It's insane that this is legal, but it is. And WM Motor thought, hey, hang on a minute, we could potentially make billions of dollars from this stock listing and we'd get away with this because where would the money go? Well, yeah, it would have been lost by Americans primarily who would have invested in this company thinking, hey, maybe this is the next Tesla, just like what they did with VinFast. Fortunately, that never went ahead. And this bankruptcy happened before that was able to go through. Now they've declared back for bankruptcy. When started in 2015, WM was seen among the rising Chinese EV startups like NIO, Liotto, and Xpeng. The court in Shanghai is now handling the bankruptcy case, according to a filing dated Monday on the National Enterprise Bankruptcy Information Disclosure Platform. WM Motors' planned reorganization will introduce strategic investors from across the globe to achieve its rebirth, the company said. Uh, basically, the company's gone, well, we owe billions of dollars, we'll declare bankruptcy, and then we'll try and regain some of these assets and make a car company out of it all over again. Is this likely to happen? Probably not. It's more like a company like BYD will come along and simply um, take over its infrastructure. That's what BYD is very good at doing. The automaker said it has been mired in an operational dilemma in recent years due to the pandemic's impact, capital market sluggishness, large price swings in raw materials, and setbacks in gaining capital needed for operations and development. 
US listed second hand car dealer Cake Sin Auto Holdings had announced in September a non binding acquisition term sheet with the troubled EV maker. The deal came after WM Motors backdoor listing through a reverse takeover with Hong Kong listed Apollo Future Mobility fell through. The failed deal was seen as a survival move after two previous fruitless attempts by WM Motor to seek a listing in Shanghai Star Market and Hong Kong. Basically, they tried every avenue here. First of all, they tried to have a listing in China. That fell through. Then they went, well, let's go for Hong Kong. We'll raise some money that way from investors who basically would have been giving their money to the company. Then that fell through. Then they went, well, let's go for the US. Create a reverse merger or a SPAC through a special acquisitions company. And well, fortunately, the company went bankrupt before they could have done that. Could that have possibly worked? Absolutely. SPACs don't require financial documents to be disclosed to the SEC. Founded in 2015 by renowned auto veteran Freeman Shen, WM Motor was seen to be among the rising Chinese EV startups, such as Neo Li Auto and x Its backers included Chinese tech giant Beidou and Shanghai's state-owned asset regulator. In other words, even the Chinese government has lost out on this investment. But the Shanghai-based startup was struggling to make profits in the capital-intensive auto sector, as are many other startups who will also likely go bankrupt within the next 12 months. WM Motors' annual losses doubled to $1.13 billion over the three years to 2021, which is, by the way, nothing compared to the losses at NEO. That's according to its stock prospectus released in June 2022 for a planned Hong Kong IPO. China's passenger vehicle sales returned to growth in August year-on-year, year, ending a streak of losses since May, as deeper discounts and tax breaks for green vehicles boosted consumer sentiment. Concerns remain, however, over consumer spending on big-ticket items such as cars amid a shaky post-COVID economic recovery. But all of that said, the reality here is, this is not a shrinking market it's been playing in. The EV market in China has grown enormously. They hit a new record of 830,000 electric cars delivered in the month of September alone, and are on track to deliver more than 8.5 million EVs this year. But like I said, it's still an overcrowded market. More than 70 electric car manufacturers is way too many is way too many, even for the world's biggest car market. How will this affect other automakers? Well, I think it's pretty obvious. We're going to see a string of bankruptcies in China. And my warning is this. If you're looking at investing in the next Tesla, don't. It's never going to happen again. There is no new Tesla unicorn about to hit the market. It doesn't matter how many seeking alphas give you this kind of bogus information. It doesn't matter how much the media hypes up these new car companies. My friends, they simply don't exist. Now, I've mentioned BYD since I started this channel when almost no one knew who they were. BYD and Tesla are the two strongest car makers in the world right now. It's very hard to find that realistic. They don't, they're nowhere near the number of sales that Volkswagen Group or Toyota are, but the same thing applied to Nokia and BlackBerry back in what? Pre-smartphone era. Things will change very quickly. Be very careful who you listen to and where you invest your money. Thank you for watching.